In today's video, we are going to go through what 2022 has been like from the first day we went out for a walk with our babies and ended up rescuing a kitten, going through iconic cases such as Captain, Edwin, Molly, Pekas and Manchas, and finishing with the rescue of Candy and her puppies. We thought it up a very intense and beautiful year, in which letting ourselves go, we have even ended up formalizing an animal rescue foundation here in Costa Rica. Hi everyone, I hope you are doing great and that your 2022 has been very nice. I hope has left you many good things, but not as good as those that hopefully this 2023 will bring you. This new year, which is just beginning. Before closing the year, we wanted to take a little tour of what this whole adventure has been like, because we have experienced many things, most of them beautiful, others not so much, but it is always nice to look back and remember what we experienced. And as I say, this year has been crazy because it started with us just landed in Costa Rica. We had just left Spain to start a new life in this little piece of paradise on earth, this place that we like and enjoy so much, both Rebecca and I, as well as our little ones. Before continuing, I want to thank you so much for all you guys who helped us coming from our old channel to this new one. I think this is working pretty better than the other one and if you don't know what I'm talking about it's because you found us after we opened this new channel. So same way, thank you for being here and I have to inform you that we are re-uploading all the videos that we had in the old channel, which actually is not so old, we are starting with this just a year ago and I hope we finish to upload all these old content during the month of January and at the same time we are uploading new videos so my apologies if that makes you a little bit confused but all that videos are very beautiful animal stories we deserve to be told so if you don't recognize some of the stories of this 2022 summary you will do in the next month and going back to the summary, a few weeks after arriving, we went for a walk with our doggies around here, close to home, and we found a lot of stray dogs. The poor ones were very hungry. Luckily, we brought food and water for them. And from that day on, we would always take those two things in our car. But things got even more interesting when Luca appeared, a beautiful kitten that we couldn't resist taking home. We took him to the vet and gave him up for adoption right away. And we know that today he is very happy. We had just changed the life of a stray animal, but what we did not know is that that rescue was going to unleash many more. After that, we started going out to feed the stray dogs, which broke our hearts because we contacted shelters to see if we could take them there, but they told us no, that they were full. Later, we realized that it is not that they were full, because we saw on their social networks how they kept rescuing doggies every day. What happens is that they are not going to receive a dog that a stranger wants to take them, because they don't know if it really is a stray dog or is just someone who has gotten tired of their dog and wants to get rid of it. So we asked a shelter to help them find good families for their animals, making videos and taking pictures of them so that they will let us take doggies that we found on the streets. However, at that very moment in time, our black boy, Baloo, a only four years Labrador mix, was diagnosed with cancer, multicentric lymphoma, and although we detected it relatively early and after trying absolutely everything with him, chemotherapies, medications, everything that the professionals recommended to us. Even so, and after four months of fighting against this terrible disease, our little baby didn't make it. He left us just a few weeks after his fifth birthday and we felt devastated. Despite this, we continue with our animal help and we managed to find a home for many animals. <music> starting with a bank, finding the perfect home in the United States, to the memorable Edwin, a dog that had been in a shelter all his entire life. 
and that at over five years old, we found him a perfect home in Texas, where we know he is tremendously happy with Terry and Clay, his wonderful adopters. Greetings, Terry and Clay from here, you rock guys. They constantly send us pictures and videos of Edwin's new and happy life. And I tell you, this guy is living the dream. Edwin was the first of many, of 30 to be exact. Here we leave you some images of a large part of them. Hey love, you got your heart on your sleeve but the shirt on your back's a bit small. Hey you, yeah your colors are changing, the world ain't half bad after all. Na na na. I have to say 30 dogs for the first year rescuing dogs, I think it is absolutely not bad. Although if there is any dog that we have to make a special mention of, that is Cap Time. Cap Time started 2022 crawling on the ground with injuries on his hind legs and ends the year running, jumping and playing, almost as if nothing would have happened to him. And it is that, thanks to your help, we managed first to buy him a customized wheelchair with which he began to move his hind legs a little bit and with which we decided to start a special physiotherapy treatment with which we discovered which it was the problem exactly that Capitan was having and after a few seasons, magnetotherapy, water treadmill, medications, a lot of love, Captain literally managed to walk again, something that we consider almost a miracle, because seeing how he was and how he is now, it really has been something very magical, and with have adopt something to highlight this year. But none of this would have been possible without your help, so I want to thank you, especially all those who support us monthly, either through Patreon or PayPal, because without you, this miracle would not have been possible. So please, if you want to help us continue doing these kind of things, and hopefully we can have our little animal shelter soon, consider helping us through one of these two platforms. We'll leave you the links down below in the description of the video. While Captain's miracle was happening, Pekas and Manchas came to us, two puppies who were in very poor conditions in a shelter. And they had even told us that they were going to be euthanized the next day. Rebecca and I couldn't believe it, so we went to pick up them, and in a matter of one, two months at home with us, and after some medicine, but above all, a lot of love, we managed to get them back and find two beautiful families for them. The passage of Pekas and Manchas at home marked us a lot. It was very nice to save their lives and have them with us during that time. Time that they also shared with Captain and Ivis, another beautiful dog that was abandoned at four years old and that we decided to receive at home to find her a second chance, but not without neutering her first. And after a few more adoptions, about three months had passed since Baloo passed away, we considered that we had passed our time of mourning, so we decided to open our hearts to another puppy. And that is when came into our lives Bonnie. This two months old black little girl, Rebecca saw her on a Facebook adoption group. She was the last of a litter of golden mix, and Bonnie was the only one who came out black. So nobody had wanted her, but Rebecca has a weakness for black dogs so she didn't hesitate to write, and a few days later, she was part of our family, brightening our days with her sweetness. And that is because Bonnie has fit in perfectly with us and our lifestyle. And from that moment on, she was the ideal companion for all the doggies that pass through the house, especially for Bali, 
another puppy that we managed to send to the US with your help. Bali now lives in Wisconsin with Estela, a very special person who has helped us a lot. Estela, if you are watching us, we send you a warm hug from here. And to close the summary, we have the sad and at the same time beautiful story of Candy and her puppies. Rebecca and I went out looking for stray dogs to feed. A hurricane had just passed through the area and we thought it would be a good time to go out help. And in that, it was. We ran into this pretty dog walking in the middle of the road, scared and disoriented, but above all, extremely pregnant. We couldn't leave her there, so we got her in the car and we headed to the hospital where we did all kind of tests. And we saw in the x-rays that at least seven or eight puppies were on the way. However, Candy suffered from anemia due to malnutrition during the pregnancy. So after two weeks giving her the best food, some vitamins extra and all our love, Candy gave birth to eight precious puppies in what became one of the most magical moments we had ever lived. A beautiful story that we shared with all of you who were able to see these babies grow literally from the moment of its birth. And as soon they reached seven, eight weeks old, these little ones were put up for adoption. We put into practice an adoption form that we had designed just a few weeks ago, and we found eight beautiful families with which these sweeties are the happiest. And as proof of this, I leave you some images that the adopters have been sending us. Another achievement of this 2022 was that we managed to establish I Do Care as an officially registered foundation here in Costa Rica. A big thing achieved thanks to your incredible help. I really don't know what we would do without you. So now, formally being a foundation and after all these rescues, adoptions and miracles, we look towards this 2023 with all the desire and optimism. The channel switch is working pretty well and we cannot be more motivated. Really, thank you very much for accompanying us in each video, in each rescue and in each story. Without you, this will not be possible and we cannot be more proud of the community that we are creating little by little. We hope to continue counting on you for many more years. We wish you the best for this 2023 and as always, we will be here waiting for you. We send you a huge hug and our best wishes for you.